fridge. How about your good self? You're good. Good. I will admit I was looking at uh, Baker's card going, I don't know what any of this actually does. Figure this out. This is, I mean, you know what I'm like. My principal hobby is theory crafting because I don't get to play all that often. But um, yeah, theory crafting and rampant indecision. Right, hundred percent. What a better hobby to have. Um, Seamus Two, I think, is the one where I've not read anything. I've not seen any guides. I've not watched any battle reports. Everything has come from inside my head. So either this is going to be spectacular or a very quick game. <laughs> Death or glory awaits. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. <laughs> you are the aggressor. Would you like to stone? Yeah, I'll stick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you win. <laughs> Off you go. Bet noir. Focus, then going to charge the Rotten Bell in front of me. But I want neither of those. I'm going to cheat in three of masks. The Rotten Bell will relent, clearing the one with the knight trigger so that I bury, and I do a two, three, four damage flip so the Rotten Bell will take two damage, and Bet will bury. Raise focus on the sandworm, and then drill into earth, needing a five. I'll do it. Trigger for drop a dust cloud. Let's go with the copycat killer. Tuck in behind that bridge. And then focus. Why not? Alright, we'll have the uh, the rough rider on the right hand side. Ride with me, which needs a seven. There's one. The, their gun is stat five with no pursuit, but it does have a built in pulse flip, which I'm now going to try and use That's to nice. shoot copycat killer. Cool, so he's terrifying eleven. Terrifying eleven, so I need a seven. Yep. Cheat that in. Black Joker says no. Okay. We'll try that again. Pass the terrifying. Thirteen. 18, because I don't like copycat killer. Um, neg flip. Uh, down to double neg for cover. Oh, fucking hell. Please eat four damage. Well, he's dead. Huzzah! That's a thing. That's a thing. I shall, uh, I shall activate a dead dandy. I will interact to drop a scheme marker. Use proper murder mystery. That's a three. Put in this eight to drop a corpse marker in base contact with the scheme marker and then remove the scheme marker. I'm then going to go for a little walk. I'm just going to move the trap. I think I'm going to go with Rotten Bell number two. Beginning of her activation will heal two. Uh, I think I'm going to charge the clockwork trap. 13. I'm on a 14. I ignore all neg flips and pos flips with Rotten Bells. Three damage. Armour two. Now I'm going to do it again. 16. Five. It's a straight flip because it's all. Oh, fucking hell. Just get all the severes out here. Do you need a scrap marker or anything? So I'll have him go and stand up there. Going to try and summon a trap, which needs a five of tomes, such as this handy five of tomes, such as it is. Look at that. Cool. I'll have me a pass token. Try and have a shot at your wounded rotten bell, because we can. Uh, terrifying 11. It's a pass. Oh, and a 16. I am not. Uh, I'm going to activate that rotten bell, who will regenerate and heal too. I'm then going to use Blasphemous Ritual, my fast action granted to me by that upgrade, to remove a target corpse marker within three inches. And then a friendly model within three may gain focus. So Madam Sybil can gain focus, and I'll take that corpse marker off. I'm then going to go for a walk. Uh, let's lure the Pathfinder. Well, I'm on an oh, eight. I'm winning. <laughs> you are winning. I'll put this nine in. Fifteen. Nah, no thanks. Okay. I'm going to have a bizarre spectacle of the summoned clockwork trap charging the bell. Uh, terrifying eleven. So I need a nine. Get it. I'm a fifteen. Eleven, we're gonna miss. Uh, we'll try again. Terrifying. Fail. Done. I'm gonna go with the White Rabbit Company. Uh, I'm gonna try and put a hat on Sebastian, needing a five. That is a five. He gains a hat, and I can push myself up to three inches towards him. So. What does the hat do? Um, the hat means I can remove the hat to reduce damage by two, mm -hmm. and also I count as a scheme marker. I'm gonna use beckoning call on uh, Baker. I need a seven. That's a four. Uh, let's try and do it again. That's a nine. I can move the target, his move, towards a model that is friendly to me. Uh, I think we have the other rough rider then. We'll try a ride with me. It worked. Go to there, and then we'll take a shot at the nearby bell. Uh, terrifying oh, 11. Pass. Yep. pass. I'm on a 13. Three damage on the bell. I'm going to go with Madam Sybil. I'm going to beckon and call the rough rider over here. It's an 18. 16. Um, you've ended a move outside of your activation, engaging a rotten bell. They will... Game fast. So we're going to activate Bernadette. I'll take a little walk over here. We're going to try and do bring it on the White Rabbit Company. 12 for me. Uh, 16 for me. Yep, do your thing. And then we'll try a kick up dust needing a 5. That's not a 5. Uh, I'm going to spend a pass token. Rykard is going to try and bring it on the, the White Rabbit Company. 12. 15. Do your thing. Then I'm going to charge it. 13. I am not. I'll go to 18 of execute. 3 damage. Uh, discard a card or the model. 
Let's go this five. Kick up dust. A stone for the ram. That's a 13. <laughs> Stupid sexy jackdaw. Uh, and the ram trigger gives me sudden strike. That's a nine for me. Nine for me too. Uh, so it's a failure currently for you because it needs to be over 12. So I've only got Baker left. So at the beginning of my activation, I will use intuition. I'm going to move Sebastian to there. I'm then going to use uh, take them by the hand on the Rough Rider. This is versus willpower. You are engaged by a Red Chapel model, so you are at neg flips to willpower jewels when not being targeted by the model you are engaged with. There are no other enemy models within three inches of Sebastian, so I get a pause flip to the jewel. Six for me. Cool. So I'm going to use, first of all, so that is take them by the hand, which is this is my fast action. So I'm going to push you three inches in any direction, and you're going to come to Baker. There's also an execute trigger on this. So please either discard a card, a soul stone, or the model. Uh, we'll chuck a stone. Madam Sybil has an aura. After an enemy model ends a move, engaged by a Red Chapel model within six inches, and it's not the enemy's activation, it gains distracted plus one. Have a donut. Um, because you've mended a move outside of your activation, engaged by um, Baker, I get a free attack against you due to YLO love. 15. 12. Oh, sorry, that should have been a pause flip. Garbage, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to stab you with my second AP. I'm on a total of 11. A total of 6. Ooh, uh, that'll be 5 damage. And distracted plus 1. That's me done for the turn. Uh, so I've got Bass left. Charge. He's got a 2 inch reach. I'm on a 15. What's 10, so we're going to miss. I mean, let's try again. I'm on a remarkable 16. Me too. I'm going to give you staggered 2 damage, yep. Well, that's the Black Joker. And that's a failed target number. Okay. Good hat. Uh, Good hat. End of turn, I guess. Yeah, nothing to score as it's turn one. Start oh, phase. start phase, you've got... Yeah, you can do shit with your Pathfinder. I'm going to do it on Bass. That's a one for initiative from me. It's a seven from me. I am going to go with Madam Sybil. Do her fast action, undivided attention. So I'll cheat in this eighth. Punch the Rough Rider. Yeah, that worked. Ten. Four damage. Uh, beckoning call um, Bernadette. 14. An 11 from me. She's going to go there. She's ended a move outside of her activation, uh, engaged by a Red Chapel model, so she can gain distracted. Hello, love will trigger. That is terrible. <laughs> You're on a 16. I'm on a 10. I'll cheat in this 10 of crows. Uh, two damage and distracted. So Bass is going to charge Baker. Uh, so Shackles, stat six against move. I'm on a mighty eight. 14. I'm going to go to 17. I'll meet you at 17. I'm going to give you stun. It says two damage. Stone. No damage. Uh, so then I'm going to do challenge. 15. 16 for me. All enemy models within pulse 2 gain staggered. Uh, and now if um, Baker wants to target a model other than Bass, it must discard a card first. Talent Scout. Once per activation, if this model is the crew's leader, after an enemy model engaged, while well, this model takes an action, it gains distracted plus one. Okay, so I'm going to do Twisting Tornado. So I'm going to drop it here. Madam Sybil, that's a Black Joker, so two damage. Baker, I'll take two damage off you as well, down to 11. Friendly Frontier models may ignore the effects of the Shockwave and instead move up to two inches. Run Bernadette away a little bit. I'm going to activate the Rotten Bell on the far left hand side. Due to Grave Spirit's touch, they will heal two. Lure Bernadette. Oof. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll use the Mask trigger for confusing feelings to give you distracted. You gain distracted because you've ended a movement outside of your activation engaging a Red Chapel model, and then Baker stabs you because of Elo Love. I am currently on an 11. Three damage and distracted. Let's do that. And then for my final AP, because I'm fast, I'm going to lure Bernadette. 14. 13. Gain a distracted from Sybil, and Baker will stab you in the face. Have you been discarding the card? Because challenge is up. I'll discard for the previous one, and I won't take this, and I won't yeah. swing this time. Use my fast action to remove a corpse marker and she'll give herself focus. I'm going to try and run away from with Bernadette then. I'm at 16. Me too. Less two inches. So she goes to there. Uh, we're going to try and kick up dust. Second AP, we're going to stab the bell. Uh, terrifying Use 11. 13. So um, while she's at half strength or less, I get pause flips to the attack and damage flip. Entirely ignore all of that distracted. That's hilarious. 17. Distracted ticks down by one. I've, however, missed horribly. I'm going to activate Baker, put up Urban Legend as my first AP. That would normally be absolutely fine, but I am, in fact, going to do that. Yeah, that. Okay, you must uh, really be wanting that. I'm now going to stab you in your stupid face. How about that? 15. I'm going to go to 19. Two damage and distracted. Another damage. That's it. And I'm going to hit you again. 16. 7. Three damage. 
and then they're distracted. Alright, so let's stone that damage then. A total of one damage from the attack and one damage from distracted. Yep. Gonna activate the clockwork trap, but it's gonna try and bite the bell next to it. Terrifying 11. Success. Uh, 11. Okay, I'm gonna say you're coming with me to push you three inches in any direction and then place me in base to base with you. One damage, and then we'll try again. Terrifying test. You mm. fail that one. I think I'm going to go with a dead dandy. Focus and uh, and biting insults. Bernadette, you'll be on a neg yourself due to being engaged by a Red Chapel model. Ten. Fourteen. So you gain distracted, you're pinged one damage by Seamus and are killed. I think it's worm time for me. That works. It's going to appear off the dust cloud and then we're going to bite the rotten bell. Terrifying eleven, please. Fail. Uh, second swing. Fail. Unbury bet and I'm probably going to charge into the into the worm. So I'm going to appear there outside of everyone's engagement and then charge to there. That corpse marker goes away. Uh, stab. That didn't work. Now my first AP. Stabby stabby. 18 for uh, me. 16. Use the mutilate trigger so you can gain slow. Three damage. Second AP. I'm going to stab you again. 13. Seven. Five damage. Reichardt's going to go focus. Pick up dust. That goes off with the trigger of have a free, have a free attack. Oh, very nice. We'll use the focus on that free swing to hit Hatmaker. Reasonable 17. Also 17. Of critical strike. 4 damage. Yeah, that'll do him. Uh, so he's just going to charge you there and passes terrifying like a boss. I think this is time for focus. For Soulstone for a pause flip. Um, I'm on 17. Swing and a miss. I'm going to go with the bell. He will activate and heal too. So yeah, I'm going to focus and I'm going to try and lure the sandworm. 12. So I'm going to move the worm a tiny amount, that's going to give that bell fast, that bet noir fast. You're then going to gain distracted from Madame Sybil's aura and then take a ping damage from Urban Legend on Sebastian Baker. Pathfinder's going to go, I'm going to try and kick up dust, that works. Pathfinder is within six of Sebastian, so I'm going to focus and try and shoot him. 16. 12. Rough Rider. Scheme marker. We'll take a cheeky shot at Sybil, I think. Terrifying. Past it. Yeah, miss. And then at the end of the turn, that dust cloud drops off because there's nobody within one of it anymore. End of the turn. I had initiative, so I think I've got this marker. Yeah, two to one. One point to me. And uh, I think you've got this marker. Yep. One point to you. Uh, nothing else to declare. Into turn three. Initiative. Black Joker. Five. So we're going to have Reichardt. Going to try and kick up dust. Goes off with the with the ram trigger. Free swing a bet noir. Stat six on defense. Uh, oh, terrifying. terrifying. Boss it. Ooh, 17. Not 17, 19, 4 damage. First AP, we're going to try and hit her again. Terrifying says pass, 10. I'm on an 8, I will go to 19. So second AP, swing again. Terrifying, fail it. So there's the terrifying, yeah, and swing nowhere near. We gave it a good go. Oof. <laughs> Let's go with Madam Sybil. So fast action, Undivided attention. So yeah, her minus one aura is now active. Um, that's with wanted posters, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Normally it needs a six. Yeah. And then I think all told, I'm just going to punch you. Eight. Ten. I'll go to thirteen. Then I'll go to fourteen. Okay, I'll punch you again. Eight. Fifteen. Week of four. Uh, armor to three. Soul stone to none. Nice, but you're now on one stone. Base is going to go. Order in the Badlands, uh, which needs a five. I'm going to target the dust cloud that's under Sybil and Baker. Yeah, that makes sense. Stop. Uh, push the target, end the chosen condition. Uh, I'm going to try and end the distracted condition. <laughs> nice. Yeah, good. You're at minus one to your stat. Uh, so stat six. Need, so need a six. You need a six. And, you know, you've already black jokered. That's not a that's not a six. Yeah. So I get the marker, push the marker four inches in any direction. I think I'm going to try a challenge because I've got no card draw. Target Baker with it. So I'm on a 14. You're on much more. So I will be successfully challenged. At the end of your challenge, have a distracted. So I'll focus and shackle Baker. 17. That's a 12. Uh, 16. I'm going to go with the bell. The one on the left. So I'm not engaged by Reichardt. So I'm going to go and stand here around the top with my first AP because I've got three of them thanks to Fast. With my second AP, I'm going to lure Bet Noir. So I'd normally I need an uh, I'd need a six because the presence of Bass I need an eight, not an eight. That however is so Bet is going to be lured up to there. So I'm no longer engaged by Reichardt. So I've walked. I've lured. I think now. I'm just going to punch you in your face. So you are within one inches of a Red Chapel model other than the one that's taking the activation against you. You're at neg flips to willpower. I'm going to use unassuming demeanor on the rotten bell, which is versus willpower. 
So you're at neg flips. I mean, 16 anyway. 16 anyway, but I will... You can have those cards out of your hand. Uh, I will take a corpse marker within three and give a focus to a model within three. It's all models gain. Oh, fucking hell. That is good. That's much better than I thought. Pathfinder's going to go. He's going to use bonus action, follow my path. Other friendly model, move it two inches. Yep. I'm going to move Bass. Does your bell get fast off that? Yes. Yeah. You will also gain distracted from Madam Sybil's aura. Bet was already okay. fast. Focus and shoot Sebastian Baker. Ten from me. Miss. I think we go with Baker at this point. At the beginning of Baker's activation, I will have a look at the top three cards. I am going to, for my first AP, use Urban Legend. Who knew? So that's his ping aura up. I'm I'm then going to have to walk and stab. Stab you in the face with a pos flip. Nineteen. Fifteen for me. Three damage. Boss stone goes down to one. Followed by another one because you gain another distracted. I'm then going to take you by the hand targeting Madam Sybil. This normally requires a five. Obviously, now it requires a seven. Over to you. Clockwork Trap is going to try and creep along towards Reichart. It does not succeed. I'm going to try and disengage from the Rotten Bell then. Eleven. Sixteen. Six less movement. On a move three model. The Clockwork Trap is just going to try and bite the Bell then. Uh, terrifying Eleven. At is Ten. Miss. Uh, I'm going to go with a Dead Dandy. The Dead Dandy is going to come for a little walk. I'm then going to Biting Insult you, sir. Uh, a mighty eight from me. Ten from me. A ten from you. I'm going to cheat in this ten to put me on fifteen. You gain distracted and, and, get pinged. and get pinged for a damage. Pass token. I'm going to go with the Rotten Bell number two at the top. Punch the Clockwork Trap. A mighty one. And then I'm going to do it again. Ten. Fourteen. Weak damage of one. Do I have the Rough Rider? Rough Rider will clip clop in this general direction. Scheme marker. And we will try and kick up dust. No, that does go off. Baked in reposition trigger. I'm going to activate Bet. Bet is going to attempt to move away from Bass. Uh, I'm on a 10. Yeah, 18 minus 6 move. So I get to move nothing. Let's do that again. 14. 9. So a neg flip. Minus 40 a move. So I'll take the 2 inch move. I'm going to have a 6 inch walk. I'm then with a the fast action going to remove a corpse marker for a free charge. And then I'm going to stab your boy. 15. 12. 3 damage. So I'm going to get both middle stash markers. You are, yeah. I'm not. I am however going to declare public demonstration. Um, as I have a Rotten Bell and a Dead Dandy within three inches of Bass. Initiative. I'm on a two. <laughs> uh. Red Joker initiative flips continue. All right, I think Bass has got to go. And we are agreed. <laughs> Order in the Badlands, uh, targeting this back dust cloud here next to the strap marker. Yeah, choose a condition, distracted. distracted. Yeah. Which needs a five. There is. I'll take the built-in crow to remove all other things that it moves through. Both corpse markers and, and my the, other... And your other dust cloud. Okay, my okay. other dust cloud. Yep. So at the end of your action, I'm going to declare talent scout, and because you've done an action in my engagement zone, I'm going to give you distracted. So I'm going to focus to clear it. I'm going to try and challenge Baker. So 14 currently. Yep, it's, it's going to happen. We'll do shackles on Baker anyway. 11. Uh, 6. I'm going to give you stun. Uh, neg flip says moderate damage for 3. I'll lose my hat. Um, take off 2 damage. So I'll just take the 1. So I'm going to go with the bell. The bell is going to focus and then lure the pathfinder. Stupid sexy uh, jackdaw for a 19. Black joker, 5. So you're just going to get tucked up in there. Getting distracted. You have also ended the movement engaging... Sebastian Baker, so I'm going to discard this three and stab you in your face. You're 13. 14. See you on 14. Two damage and another point of distracted. And then with her last AP, because I was fast, Tonk Bass in the face with her umbrella. I'm on a 10, you're on a what, a 9 or an 8? Yeah, you can have one damage. She pokes you in the eye. Alright, I think we're going to go with the Rough Rider before Bet does a horrible, horrible thing. I'm going to try and ride with me to get away. Fail. So we'll move in and try and hoof her in the face, because, you know, I haven't got much else I can do. Yeah. Chat have pointed out that I've massively got the Rotten Bells attack wrong. <laughs> and it's not that they're oh, yeah. always it's not that they're always on straight flips, it's that the attack f damage flip always treats Neg's flips as if they were posses. It's much better than I've been playing it. It's the Seraphine on Bet Noir. Eleven. Uh well I've passed that. Thirteen. Cool. I will um bury. I'm gonna go with Madam Sybil. Bleed a lash, Pathfinder. Sixteen. Eight. Moderate of three damage. Pulled here and there, trigger. Gain a distracted. Discard this black joker and stab the Pathfinder. That is a sixteen from Baker. 
That's a fifteen. Three damage. Because Baker's killed a model, he's gonna destroy he's gonna draw a card. Madame Sybil's second AP, she's gonna punch Bass for a mighty nine. Eighteen. Ironically cheap Bass in to go to nineteen. Clear the crit strike trigger. A minimum damage of four. Try and put up undivided attention. I need an eight. That is not enough, and I'm not cheating for that. Charge Baker. Uh, we'll go to there. Now is a good time for me to use my focus. Fourteen. A seventeen. Kick up dust. Uh, which needs a four to go off. Uh, here is a four of rams. In Ten. Sixteen for me. I will cheat in this five. So it's a neg flip rather than a straight, unless you cheat. Four damage. Four damage. That sounds like a stone. So three damage. Uh, and we're going to do last AP. We're going to do stoic nod onto um, bass. Goes off. Heal one, two, three on bass. Boom. One, three on. Let's go with Baker. Baker is going to put up his aura, Urban Legend. Stab you in your face with a bunch of flowers. 14. To my 18. I'm going to declare the bloody display trigger. Enemy models within 4 inch. This model must each pass a TN. 14 willpower duel will be pushed 4 inches away from this model. Whilst you can't be pushed, I'm going to make you flip the cards. 2 damage. Gain a distracted for another one. Reichardt needs to make me a TN. 14 willpower duel, please. And then I'm going to stab you again. That's a mighty 2. Say hello to Mama Z and go to 19. That serves 4 damage. And are distracted for another damage. That's a dead dude. Uh, so Clockwork Trap is going to try and bite the bell. Uh, terrifying 11. Pass with an actual 11. Is a 16 from me. Yeah, I'm going to miss. Second AP. Fail the terrifying. Um, I'm going to go with a dead dandy. Target Reichardt with biting insult. 18 from me. 8. <laughs> uh, gain a distracted and therefore take a damage from um, the Baker Aura. And then I'm going to do it again. Yep. Eight. 12. Gain, gain a distracted, take a damage. In her activation, Bet Noir is going to target this corpse marker, bury into base contact with it, remove the corpse marker, and then have a free charge. I'm charging to that strategy marker. Then I'm going to... I've got 12 inches of movement to walk to that strategy marker. I've still got this one. So you've got to discard a card to disengage from the trap. So I'll discard this 10. You need to make a terrifying test. Which I've I'm going to go there with my first AP and to there with my second AP. So at the end of the turn, I'm going to score a guard the stash, and that's it. We head into turn five. What do you want to do? Okay, well, my schemes are spread them out, which that's why I needed the Rough Rider to disengage. Probably get the first point from it, maybe. Yeah. I think that's I think that's all she that's all she wrote. That's all I'm going to get. Because at the end so of the I'm not going to be able to get enough clouds down. Yeah, because well, it's not just that because Bass is no longer at the table. They all they go. All go. Yeah. So I get another point. Put it, stick it in the app. I'm happy for it to be scored. Yeah. Basically, Reichardt needs to kill both the Dead Dandy and the Rotten Bell for me to not be able to score public demo. I'm going to get one of them, I would have thought. I'm I would, get both. I would, that's kind of what I'm thinking as well. And then Baker and Sybil just move here to score that stash marker. So I'm going to score yeah. Guard the Stash and the second public demo. I'm not scoring Hidden Martyrs was my other one, which are the Dead Dandy and, and Bet. So I'm more likely thinking you're going to try and kill the Rotten Bell rather than the Dead Dandy because it's yeah. there and the Dead Dandy is manipulative and I can out-activate you and just like... So I, I don't think I'm getting anything for Hidden Martyrs. So I think that's going to end 5-3. How was the control of NPE challenge? I think you won it quite spectacularly. But, um, <laughs> a, a, men a special mention to my deck. An MVP status so, yeah, to your deck. It was infuriating when I had the Pathfinder kind of down here. Mm. I could have scored the, um, the, the spread them out much earlier. Because mm. all he had to do instead of wasting time taking focus shots is just put the marker down. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's the Sebastian Baker murder ball. Like you have Sybil and and Baker together because the bells have got a twelve inch range on lures. You just shuffle people about in Sebastian's engagement, and he stabs them from min damage to distracted, and you gain a distracted from being moved next to Madame Sybil. So like essentially every attack you do with him is is min four, but it's even better because it's yeah. it's two plus one plus one. So stuff like armor. And, and hard to kill and all that kind of stuff gets really, really nicely negated. And then because, with the exception of Bet Noir and the dead dandies and mourners, everything in this keyword moves your opponent. So you can just you can yeah. get you can get like twelve attacks a turn out of Baker this way. If there's no other enemy model, enemy models near him, they're all on pauses. In many ways, this is the worst case scenario of that engine because of all your laugh off. And anything that didn't have laugh off can be 
utterly sliced to pieces but then with the challenge i was having to discard a card every time as well so it was like i was taxed for doing it but still able to doing it the thing that got me is i went an entire game without summoning a model he's a summoner <laughs> like yeah stubby 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 i'm very pleased i scored two points off public demo <laughs> yeah it's one of those i did not see that coming because who takes public demo i just read it and thought it was a dead scheme so i'm not even sure i can make much use of it no um and like this is one of the few keywords where I'd even try it because I really want my minions. Yeah, you do. Dead dandies for a four stone model. Four stones, bloody hell. Yeah, he's a he's a the dead dandy is a four stone model, and like turn one, he goes, "Here's a scheme marker." I turn that scheme marker into a corpse, pulse out focus. Yeah, you know, another model pulses out focus, and then he just walks around shouting insults at people for distracted, which makes him a great finishing model, especially on things like hard to kill and stuff like that. And if if you're using yeah. it against models that haven't activated yet it gains a pass token as well manipulative defense for willpower for like you know his stats are terrible but he just kind of hangs around at the back and shouts insults at people which i'm sure you can appreciate <laughs> yeah well you know i basically have foul mouth motivation so <laughs> thank you very much for the game buddy um good to, good to play you. as ever handy viewers such as you are uh, thank you very much for your help and as ever 